if you haven't checked it out already, you should have watched the last two or three episodes of Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends uh, oh, yeah. with me, uh, Tiffany, and Ben. Today we're joined by Ethan as well. Uh, let's hey. sound off, everybody. Hi, I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Tiffany. <laughs> and I'm Ben. We decided to do a couple episodes of a fan-requested and uh, just one I really wanted to do, X-Men the Animated Series. In fact, if you're a weekly pull listener, you might have caught me and Rob watching it one time. Um, I, this one promises to be much funnier. <laughs> I say that because, like, I'm. I was trying to do because what we, Rob's not funny. That's well, Rob wasn't. Yeah. Rob didn't understand what we were doing. Uh, so okay. you kept making jokes. Like, and he just we're goes, just gonna watch. Yeah, we're all gonna, right. well, <laughs> Rob was like, "Let's watch this episode of this great show," and I was like, "Let's make fun of this show we both enjoy and like make observations about the things." That like do right, the show, right, right. Yeah. and he was like, and he's like, so, and I was like, oh you, my could god, could you be quiet? No, he wasn't. He, he, he wasn't like angry with me. He was just like, he's like, I'm like, oh my god, here's the rage in cage. He goes, the funny thing about Gambit is, uh, you know, Gambit was created in 1992. <laughs> well, he just tried. He had to explain. Yeah, he and just I'm like, started doing Marvel. Explain. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. could you please stop? <laughs> give it a rest, Marvel. Explain. Yeah. This, whole, this episode is 18 minutes long. <laughs> you know what I don't need to know about Gambit is that he is in a a you know a relationship with a woman he can never actually have. And that, that, that as deep. a young girl, I was like, oh, "It's me." I love you, Gambit. <laughs> I, I'd be true to you, Gambit. I would. I would let you touch me. <laughs> I would nurse you back to him. I don't care if you're in the Guild of Thieves or whatever <laughs> else you got going on. Yeah. Uh, we need to watch that episode. <laughs> yeah, so, that, yeah. That episode, so, I don't think it's anywhere near as good as we remember it being. Oh like, no, it's funny. It's, I've seen it like probably twelve times. Because really? they always showed it on Fox Kids. Oh, it was the most yeah. exciting episode. You know no! I usually caught any episode from the Phoenix Saga. Yep, that was always, you knew. Yeah, this show was on Fox Kids, Saturday mornings, you're like, fuck yes, here we go. This was like children's soap. This is the, the young oh, yeah. and the, the restless for 11-year-olds. And, no, for 8-year-olds. And this show... Okay, so you're watching it, and you're like, oh my god. The Phoenix Saga, I think, was about, like, 47 parts. <laughs> and they ran it, you know, in order. And then after a while, they were like, ah, shit, just rerun them. Yep. Just rerun anyone. So you're we watching care. episode one from season two, and then episode 13 from season one, and then, ep- like, part 12 of the Phoenix Saga. There's also, you, you very rarely ran into it, but sometimes you'd get the Savage Land. Yes, and, and you're I like, were, and God like damn it! I like that. I like the Savage Land. Fuck well, you. Savage Land was always like a no. That was the backup. Where it's like they threw Professor X and Magneto into the Savage Land. I know, and they didn't have their powers. Yeah, to fucking uh, walk. That's how they ended every episode for like two seasons. Was like I also saw the Shadow King. Oh, episode man. a lot. I did not. I oh, saw it like really? maybe two times. No, yeah, I saw it a lot. But uh, yeah, I've so anyway, seen Mojo a couple of times. Oh Christ. Oh. Mojo. <laughs> no so, one likes Mojo. No, he's gross. By the way, I love that they did the Phoenix Saga like later on because like I was like, okay, cool. The first couple of episodes, like, oh yeah, it hooks you. Sentinels and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Okay, yeah. and Morlocks and Savage Land. Oh, all right. Yeah, it got deeper Phoenix down Sa- the rabbit hole. The she are. Yeah, that was. <laughs> what the hell is? Happening? Yeah, there's no way that was like. Oh my god, that was like when we went to. Well, I remember going to see X Men Two. X2, X-Men United. Right. In the theaters with my friends in college. And we got out of the theater. You know, the last shot is like the silhouette of the Phoenix under the water. Or over the water. Or whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. And you're like, oh. And my friend at the time, I don't remember who it was actually. He was like, okay, so I know that there's a Phoenix involved. Like, what does that mean? And I go, okay, well, it all started with the dethroned queen of the Shi'ar em- Empire named Lalandra. And he's like, stop. <laughs> I don't That's care. Enough. So you've been trying to do back issues for <laughs> Dude, uh, at, least a, at least a decade, yeah. And <laughs> people have been kiboshing me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, these people actually said yes. <laughs> these oh, suckers. No. So, all right, uh, we are watching the first episode of the hugely popular, hugely successful X-Men the Animated Series. This is the, 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 the beginning of the show. Uh, uh, bleh. This is the beginning of um, Secret Wars... One of the battle worlds is this universe. I would what? I would, what? I would be here forever. It's not even the X Men animated series, but like oh, the X Men animated series is based off of what the X Men looked like at that exact time in comics. Oh, like it was perfectly recreating what the X Men were doing at that exact moment, which oh. was really bizarrely cutting edge. 
And so people really like associate because they the voice acting is perfect and the characters <laughs> are. I mean, like, oh, by the way, they're all Canadian. They shot the whole damn. They made the whole thing in Canada. Everyone's Canadian, especially Jean Grey. Yeah. Uh, and and Wolverine, appropriately. Well, known. he should be the only one who but... is Canadian. And for me, the definitive voice of Wolverine. Now, how do you know she's Canadian? Does she say like a? She says she's an out. Uh, out break. Yeah. And a boat. Mm-hmm. I don't and think I ever caught that as a kid. Like that, that didn't even. I didn't turn. either until later when I I read they wanted to do a crossover between the X Men and the Spider Man cartoon, the '90s Spider Man cartoon, and it was a real pain in the ass for them to make okay. because they had to fly the entire cast of the X Men from Canada to California. Why did where they just shoot their I was like, why don't they just record it? Email the fucking line <laughs> because an email of that size oh. would have taken no, like six years to, to why arrive. Why did they just send? Yeah, like mail them the video, the voiceover files. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's because the Spider-Man cartoon show was so cheaply made. They were like, no, 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 we're we're, we're recording next month's episode, right? Because like they reused animation, and so like it didn't take long for them to just Frankenstein an episode together from previous episodes and then throw them out. Actually, Frankenstein isn't really that appropriate. Frankenstein actually moved, operated, and spoke fluently. It's more like a meatloaf. <laughs> Spider-Man the Animated Series is more like a meatloaf. It's like a head cheese? Yeah, it's more like a head cheese of itself. <laughs> oh. it, was like, it was like a head cheese made from previous head cheeses that were unsold. That's what it was like. Oh, it's a fruitcake. It's a fruitcake. Oh. Yeah, a Spider-Man's a fruitcake. Fruit so, uh, Plus without... they had to get the actors actually together so yeah. that they could have genuine interactions and get oh, no, the more amazing that. voice work out of them. Yeah. You know, they're... It's separate facilities. Right. Or it just sounds like shit. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. They did. Values, so by right. the way, they did. They flew them out to fucking California. Oh god. And they did it. I know we're about to mercilessly mock this show. But I fucking <laughs> love this show. It is great. Also one of the best openings. For oh yeah. Best theme song like ever. This, I will say, hang on. Professor X, as I've gotten older, his voice, I'm like, No. What do you mean? He's so uh, over the top. That's so not what I was expecting that to go. I thought it was going to be, over the years as I've gotten older, Professor X has just, just gotten sexy. so much more hotter. <laughs> no, nope. Him and his big black his... eyebrows? No. Nope. Yeah, his evil eyebrows. They look like they're drawn on. Jean. Like, when he lost the power of his legs, he also lost all his hair and eyebrows. And, like, yeah. Jean draws them on every day. <laughs> and she there you like go, him. Professor. Yeah. I did it telekinetically. <laughs> Thanks. You need to. <laughs> How get, do they look? <laughs> get back in the danger room and hone your abilities some more. <laughs> and then she passes out. Yeah, because that's what happens. Jean Grey uses her powers, and she's like, "Oh, <laughs> she fucking passed Let out." Let me tell you, uh, when I was growing up, I had zero respect for Jean Grey. Well, well, that's like, how she happens in yeah. every episode. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well like, she has no fucking powers. Like which, the powers by the way, are lame. Blew my mind when. Mr. Sinister comes on the scene and like he's like we need her and him and I'm like why she sucks yeah you need Rogue yeah Rogue is like Superman <laughs> but she could also kill you by touching but I didn't like I didn't understand that there was like comic books yeah that were fueling this right. and yeah, that there was stuff I didn't there had know. been fifty years of continuity for Jean Grey before exactly that. Right. yeah but according to Sal she sucked for all <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah no she's always sucked. <laughs> And people will freak out at you. They'll be like, she was a swimsuit model, and she was a mother. Ugh. So anyway, X-Men oh, the Animated man. Series on Fox Kids. Sorry. Yeah. I just got excited about Bishop. That's later. <laughs> Every time Bishop shows up to play a guitar, like, from the South, it was <laughs> like Sam going through the window, and Clarissa explains it all. <laughs> so, okay. X-Men the Animated Series on Fox Kids. Greatest voice acting of all time. Greatest, greatest cartoon superhero show of all time? I would Maybe. say... Least top three. Well, I mean, we know what the top one is. The Batman animated series. Easily. Mm. And then I'd say it's a like it's between Sp- Spectacular Spider-Man and the X and this car- cartoon show. Wow, Are you I telling would, me that... I would go Justice League. Oh, Justice League is basically just another season of Batman animated Well, I still would go Justice League mm. after that. And then Wildcats. Wildcats is <laughs> goddamn garbage. Yeah, the only thing that's good about that show is that fucking theme song. I watched all of that show. Shut up. They are heroes, not zeros. Well, that exactly. theme song and Grifter. And Grifter's cool. Uh, right. It's because he's it's because he's Gambit with guns. Yeah, well, I you know I liked I liked Voodoo and Maul. Okay. Okay, and their little relationship. Mm-hmm. Before we start, I was a girl. yeah. Quick poll: 
How many comments do you think we're going to get that say, like, shut the fuck up and, and start do the, the episode? episode. Oh, it's be nothing but that. That's why I keep, that's why I keep adding, Oh, like, I assume, because Sal could actually cut all this out. I keep re, uh, I keep reintroducing the show, because I'm going to cut it all out. I was going to ask, do you think we should turn this down a little bit so it's easier to overlay? Yeah. Yeah, right. Maybe. We should also scream into the mic. Yeah, so it should be a little loud. And then put it on, um, manual? Okay. Or stereo? Put it on so it only standard. comes out the front standard. or whatever. Can't they stop staring at the smoke <laughs> detector? All right. All right, so here we go. This is X-Men the Animated Series from Fox Kids from the 90s. Uh, arguably the, one of the best superhero cartoon shows ever made, and we are going to watch it <laughs> and probably laugh at it a lot. Uh, enjoy these Canadian voice actors. Let's go. Um, that's it. If you, right. wanna, if you want to cue it up, just go to the beginning of the episode because the theme's going to start yeah. right now. It's the best theme song for any cartoon show. Oh, yeah. I didn't even watch the show. I didn't get Fox. I still knew this fucking song somehow. <laughs> everyone. Everyone knew. I love how there's everyone's individual opening. Like, yeah. You know, I like how people who had their own comic book had the fucking font, but those who didn't, didn't have a good font. <laughs> like, Storm had Beast book. had a fucking real font. That's his font from the comics. Gambit, that's his font from the comics. But Jubilee obviously never had a comic, so she hers looked like college lettering. As with Jean Grey. And Professor X. Did Jean Grey ever have a comic? No. Man! Oh, I thought Rogue was the coolest. She is the coolest. Yeah, until she's they the lame. So they must have to like kill a lot of robots on this show, right? Because they can't kill real people. Oh, yeah. Like Wolverine well, probably stabs a whole bunch of robots. Wolverine is hilariously ineffectual in this show. <laughs> Because in every episode, he's like, I've, I'm going to cut you to ribbons with my claws. And you're like, no, you're not. I didn't think Apache. Oh, uh. Or Warpath, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Warpath. I didn't think of ha Warpath was a bad guy. He's not. They didn't know. Oh. <laughs> Listen how. You can imagine my disappointment at the casting of Saber Tooth. <laughs> in, the mo in the movie? Yeah. Okay, blonde hair and brown eyebrows? No. I don't think so. That's out of a bottle. I'm sure the carpet does not match the drapes. No. He doesn't know anymore. <laughs> are we supposed to know who these people are? Are they random? They're, yeah, they're, see. yeah, they're, they're, oh, okay. All we know is she's wearing mom jeans. Oh. Yeah, they're Jubilee foster parents. Is, is Jubilee, like, our ride-along character? Yes, she is! Yes. That explains why she's on. Yeah. yeah. It also explains why, like, I don't mind Jubilee. Okay. But, like, why the yellow gloves? To match her yellow coat. What kid wears yellow rain gloves? I don't know. A really distinct kid. Yellow worked for April O'Neil. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure hey, you crushed my table house, table? you asshole! I am bad at this. Does not give a fuck. No. I love how he went after the dog. He's like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, he was gonna kill that dog. Yep. <laughs> Is that where it was programming? Oh, it was, maybe it was a mutant. Dog. And these yeah, sentinels blend right the fuck in. <laughs> at least they're well No one's off. noticing these tremors. They also cave in the street when they walk around. Yeah. Well, that's physics. You should know that. Hello. He, all he wants to do is give them a pamphlet. I don't know uh, yeah, their well, mouth and Doctor Doom's mouth look the same. Oh yeah, that metal bit thing. Remember that scream? You're gonna hear them reuse it all throughout the series. The intro <laughs> episode was like that scene in the Lost World Jurassic Park where the Tyrannosaurus yes, eats the dog, eats the dog, and then like looks in the kid's window. Yep, that's exactly what that was. I also love that Jubilee is crying while she's playing video games. Like she's going through some emotional turmoil. Like this is how I deal. <laughs> yeah. It's also but she's doing of, really well. <laughs> it's also their way of showing, um, of, of paying homage to Terminator 2. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Did that Sentinel have muscles? Yeah, it, it did. Okay. Um. Oh, sick burn, Jubes! Such a fries. Yeah. Whoa. Wait, he knows she's a mutant? She broke the game. Oh, with, yeah, her... with magic. I see. Yes! I was gonna be like, all oh, our pizzas! <laughs> Whoa, that is a jacked garbage man! <laughs> yeah, they detailed in muscles for the Sentinels. I don't know why. 
I must look imposing. <laughs> yes, I work out. <laughs> I'm being three stories tall Yay. is not enough. I remember being. <laughs> what? <laughs> Even as a kid, I was like, oh, I like that. I don't know why. Yeah. It's waking you up. <laughs> yeah, but uh, made okay. a lot of women. <laughs> How tall <laughs> is this mall that a sentinel can easily walk through? It's a big mall. It's probably. I, they're in like they're they're in the Palisades. Oh, she's a Pokemon. She's only five feet. Yeah. She, she's growing. Yeah. She's a chick. She's like probably fourteen. Now, <laughs> would a Sentinel try to capture mutants, or would it just kill them? Oh, well, they catch him. Okay. No, they're trying to capture. Him. I mean, you can't kill they mutants on this show. Well, no, I mean like in Yay. the comics. Yay. The zap. <laughs> I mean, I know you're mutants, but like, I don't have names for you, so. I think like she changed okay. her costume by blasting herself with lightning. Bro, <laughs> she's like, what the? She's like, whoa! Storm, could you just like chill out? I also really like that Storm can change her costume with lightning, Rogue does not. Oh. Yeah. Rogue super strong? Yep. Yeah. Oh, right, cool. you don't know. Yeah, no. Yep. All I know is Rogue for the movie. I was gonna say, you're gonna start to really understand my, like, my <laughs> anger at uh, the movie. movie. Would she take the powers of somebody who could fly? Yes. Yeah. A, certain, a certain other Marvel character that I didn't realize was a Marvel character until I met Sal. Who's that? Miss Marvel. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Because Rogue used to be in a group led Crap. by Mystique, but she didn't know that. Was Mystique and because it's just, Mystique in the sky. Yeah. Right, but like she was like acting as like Rogue's foster mother in yeah. a sense. And okay. they were trying to take down Miss Marvel, who Mystique had led them to believe was an enemy. Okay. And she told Rogue to hang on to her. And like it was getting real bad. And like she was like, I want to let go. And she's like, You can't let go. And they put her in a coma. Oh. And like Rogue is battled with that. And they do an episode where they cover this whole thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's and, cool. and then like Rogue goes to visit her in the hospital. And like. Tells them her name and everything because she's still in a coma. And like part of her is trapped inside of Rogue and she has to go into a mind of Professor X and Battler. Yeah. This has been a mini back issues with <laughs> <laughs> They also, um, they didn't have to deal with like the bullshit they're dealing with now with like Marvel Studios and Fox and crap. So like they could have had any characters appear in this show and right. indeed they did. They just didn't do stuff. Like, you just saw them in the background. Like, Spider Man would be in the background of one episode. Or, like, the, you know. X ray scanning. No, he's gonna go kill Gambit. And it's, she's gonna realize she has strength within her. Within her. Oh. <laughs> More attractive than me. <laughs> Oh, that was lame. I'm gonna win this car. <laughs> what did you do when you did it? Does she have no enter signs on her as her earrings? Because they look like little red circles. Oh, they are little red circles, and they say Jubilee in the middle. That's terrible. <laughs> Did Cyclops gas her? No. no. The Sentinel launched a gas bomb. Cyclops oh. like, this is going to work out great. She already has two of the colors needed to be on the <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, Cyclops comes out of the gate swinging. Wow. I also love that everyone else is in, like, regular clothes, or at least what passes for regular clothes, and Cyclops is like, what up? <laughs> I am a humorless dick. I have this ridiculous <laughs> costume on. I don't have civilian clothes. I'm always on. I'm always on. No, I'm he always does. Cyclops. Yeah, he's all... He definitely does. But not today. <laughs> yeah. Not in public. Gamb uh, Wolverine civilian clothes on this show are amazing. He's a lumberjack. He is the biggest Canadian ever. He just wears red flannel. <laughs> Your powers aren't like sentient. They. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> Yay, beast! It would be quite disconcerting if it would detonate. Disconcerting, yet provocative. 
Oh, he used big words. Two big words. That means he's a smart guy. He's just like a brain. <laughs> Oh my god, Morph. Good old Morph. Remember Morph? I don't remember Morph. I never yeah, even fucking yeah, heard of No that. one did, because Morph wasn't a comic book character. Oh. Wait, no, he was, wasn't no. he? No. I like the idea that Morph has never met Jubilee, but because he saw her and changed into her, he can imitate her voice. Yeah. It was Domino and Cannonball. Like, oh, that shot of Magneto just wailing with his powers is fucking awesome. It is awesome. It's also little, like, little indications of what's to come. Yeah, we're in a or what will never universe. come, like Domino or Cannonball. <laughs> oh, that chair. That chair's so great. Wow, look at those shoulder pad things. What, uh, Jean Grey's? Yeah, man. Look at those eyebrows, though. <laughs> She's trying to escape. She's trying to escape. She's like right place. outside the room. You don't need to use your power. And look in the hall. Send Wolverine to retrieve her. <laughs> Wait, an intruder? She's not an intruder. Yeah, you brought her in here. She doesn't have authority to be in that area. This has to be buttons, right? Perfect. There's probably no reason that this room is locked. No, probably not. It's not like it's some sort of dangerous room. <laughs> Oh. Yay. Is the reveal. How awesome. What? Did he just try to kill Wolverine? Well, yeah, no, they're, they're fighting. They're, they're, they're oh, learning they're like how to use sparring. their powers. But he, was, but he was outside. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Now I'll murder you. What the fuck is this? <laughs> you, got, you got the bumper. You got the five kids bumper. <laughs> what like the? He, he makes a little like Arr! sound. So wait, what was Wolverine gonna do there? He has a hard brace up. Yeah, he was just indicating to the audience like he. It was called the bait and switch. Oh. Which made you think he was gonna kill him. Yeah, but presumably really he was gonna do something else. Nah. <laughs> There's so much blue and yellow in this room. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah, the I think that game has got some pink on. Look at those abs. <laughs> Does he really have those abs, or are those like part of his suit? It's part of his suit. It's kind of not that dangerous, though. Oh, yeah. Is danger like an acronym? No. Oh, okay. It's a dangerous room <laughs> okay. that you shouldn't be in unless you mean to be in there. Like yourself. Forgot they had a bell tower. Yeah. This is the first, last, and only time that they will be in this bell tower. Discover Don't have shoulder pads too. Yep. Yeah. Well, they're women. I mean, and it's and it's nineties too. Yeah. Yeah, but dig those awesome lightning bolts. <laughs> yeah. I love her hair. Awesome. I like her different size irises, which made her look a little crazy for a second. I like her hair better when Bishop shows up. <laughs> I love. Does her hair change when Bishop shows up? Yeah, we see an alternate future. Her, oh, you see, like, like, Days uh, of Future Past Storm. Oh, is it the Mohawk? Yeah. Nice. I like how much from every other pop culture out, like element this show borrows or steals directly from. We had Terminator 2. Mm -hmm. um, I think we had a Jurassic Park reference oh, earlier. Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. No, because this was before that. <laughs> um, they were around the same time. It was Lost World, so that was like. Yeah, that was later. Before. And uh, later you're going to see that they ha they stole from uh, Star Trek, the next generation, with their communicators. Oh. The X-Men, if they tap the X on their shoulder, or yeah. on their chest... <laughs> they can talk back and forth. Yeah. It's great. Well, it makes so much sense. Right. Even a Wolverine has shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> it's because he's short. He needs them. Shut up, Cyclops. You're such a tool. Get your feet off the desk, beast. 
But my feet go everywhere. <laughs> They're like my hands. Man, a four-digit license plate. Here's Henry Peter Gyrick. He's with these women. I don't know who that is. He is a douche. <laughs> ah. He's like a giant leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> He's part of the, like, anti-mutant group. He helps, uh... Him and, uh... Bolivar Trask mm. work together to develop the, the, the Sentinel. <laughs> Who doesn't notice that? <laughs> it's already blends right in! He could be a building! This is the precursor to the Transformers movie. <laughs> when they're, Sam's parents can't see us. <laughs> Oh, I can see how you missed him. Yeah. Yeah, clearly. Oh no, she is too strong. Sometimes it like waylays them, and sometimes he just absorbs it in his hand. Well, he learned from the other one. Oh, that's true. Well, they're not like fucking adaptoids. Like they... <laughs> they're not the board. Yeah. Why did we have that shot of that guy getting out to look at the? Uh, we didn't save. You know, it was easier to animate than than a fight scene. Oh no. Oh. No. Oh. What? Gassy Sleep now, tight my ward. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of gas. It was yeah, a lot of gas. Geez. Well, I yeah. mean, they don't do things small. And she's Gyrick. still awake. Wow. Yeah, she's got a some major fortitude. She's got a healing factor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Plus. So zero. wait, she actually escaped from the Avengers no, Mansion? X Men. Yeah. X Men. Yeah. See, look, look at fucking Wolverine's Canadian outfit there. Well, it's not an entire jean tuxedo, though. No, so. no, yeah, it's it's true, it's not quite. Wolverine, Wolverine and Beast, and Beast, and more and more. You have the same facial <laughs> design. <laughs> I, I laughed in two voices at once. <laughs> did, did Cyclops' visor just respond for him? Yeah, he gave like a little, like, rip. Yes. What, like a kit thing? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Cyclops. <laughs> I'm psychic. What's the matter? Teacher, that cold, Yeah. They don't like each other. Right. Here's why. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> there was a lot of fucking blue sparks. Oh, yeah. Flashes coming off. Well, the Highlander <laughs> movies had just come out, and, you know, like the swords, when they hit each other, they, like, right. burst into fucking. That is adamantium, man. That was, by the way, the third empty threat with claws that Wolverine has made in the last <laughs> five, ten minutes. We should put a counter up on the screen. <laughs> stay, stay, stay. Yay! No, no, exposition for Rogue. Let's make some kiss. Oh, oh, right. I can't believe Beast is walking like that. What are you talking about? He's using his, you know, like a monkey. Yeah, he's not using his legs. <laughs> he's, he's using them, he's just not like swinging them. Like, individually. Exactly. He's using them like he had one big stump. Yeah, but I have seen this episode because I know. <laughs> I know. You know where this is going? I, I know why Morph is in this episode. <laughs> Good old Morph! <laughs> the character we created for this show? I don't know. I'm some kind of scientist, but I really I'll answer that with vague words. <laughs> you weren't supposed to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Did you find the child? Trail, 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 what, no crazy speech? If he if he split his visor instead of being Cyclops, could he like rapid fire like by <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> well they each beam would be half as strong. Yes. Right, but I mean it might be worth it. He's going for power over finesse. That's right. Mm. <laughs> you suck more. <laughs> hey, did you hear uh, expendable character being thrown over a fence? See uh 
Well, that's his beard. Thank God I changed him to you for no reason. <laughs> well, he shocked him. Shock yeah. value. He, he just gassed him with a gun. <laughs> 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 faster. Yeah. Up four. Yeah, but only because Storm came in. Yeah. Yeah, sure. That's I was I'm gonna murder him with my claws, but Storm stopped me. There, I used them. I murdered this door. I murdered security. <laughs> Man. No, you won't. <laughs> he says every time. Yeah. It's like these people have never met before. Yeah. Beast, why are you? You can't how are smell we infrared light. It's like they have to like introduce their their characters <laughs> to the people who've never met them before. So she has to use lightning to do anything. Well, it's just cooler. It depends. Jake. It's not lightning. It's just like a manifestation of the power. That was like visual representation. If you will. Yeah. It happens to look a little bit like lightning. You wow. mean like crack on your electricity? Yeah. Almost like lightning. But more energy. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> was the code or anything? No, nope. just a lot of switches. <laughs> oh my god, if only we had some kind of communication! <laughs> a Jeep. It was a tank! I think that was an APC. Uh oh. Except <laughs> for the O'Malley triple today. <laughs> Oh, we got the little oh. recap. That's where the episode ended. Oh, that the episode ended. That yeah. What happened? No, they were gonna open. They were walking into a trap. So now we're also watching episode two. Oh, oh no! Oh, no, are we really doing that? Yeah. No, let's stop. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? We can't leave it like that. All right. What's the matter with you, Zoe? We need to do a Mickey Mouse roll call of one day. Yeah. Like this. You know, not like not this. Like this. <laughs> He's got tiny little red lights on the bottom of his hover chair. Mm -hmm. Serve mm -hmm. no purpose. <laughs> nope. That's how hovers. It's not how it hovers. They're pointing forward. They're little thrusters. <laughs> They're little thrusters. Uh, I don't know. Is that chair from anything? Or from the they comics. Up in the show? Okay, so they did have a they, had, they made an action figure of that, of the Professor X that came with that yellow chair. I had that chair. I loved that figure. It's not like you're really it was a child. Like, oh, okay. It was awesome. Wow. It was like my rascal suit. It was really hard to get, and it was very rare. It was very cool. Oh, yeah? Okay. Well, like, anything now? You have it now? What? No, it's gone. They're all gone. All my, all my action figures are fucking gone. Sad, man. I have a couple of them. They're in my parents' basement. Like my Independence Day alien action figure. <laughs> Does it come open and there's like a little you, one you, inside? There's a little clip you open up and it goes... And it was, then there's a little guy inside of his if head. If you press the button, does it say... Die? It, it, your options were you can get a talking one or you can get one that opens. I chose the opening one. Because talking figures are bullshit. Well, eventually, eventually the battery dies. Yeah. yeah. So is the beast figure blocked? No, the beast figure is all most most of the uh, toy biz X Men figures, of which there were thousands, uh, were just plastic. I liked that beast figure, by the way. It was really cool. They cover Genosha in this show too. Don't they? Yes, they do. Oh, shit. Genosha doesn't get killed, by the way. They don't. They don't murder the entire island of mutants, though. <laughs> Knight of the Sentinels. So, is the government, like, okay with this private company sending out deadly yeah, robots? Yeah, kind of. No, no the they're city? not. Because later on, they're going to establish that the president has a real problem with what they're doing. Oh, wait. But oh, not yeah, enough to, like, stop the nope. military force. <laughs> no, she is a... <laughs> She's kind of like, I don't approve. She says, actually, it's in the next episode. Oh. She's... Uh, the president's on like a stairmaster, and Gyrek's there, and he's like, "So, you know, I, I need like a whole bunch of money for this." And she's like, "So, the the mutants that broke into your registration offices, uh, they they felt, you know, they really were really were willing to risk their lives to get files from that from that agency. Did they have good reason to have that feeling?" And he's like, "What? <laughs> those are the cars from Aliens? Oh yeah, they those are. are. Holy shit! Whoa!" What, Cyclops blasting the shit out of those guys? What? What? He's OP. What's he's just a douche. 
No, didn't you hear him? He said no humans would be harmed. Oh. No, I meant like, but he, that was a lot of... A lot of cool. juice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. he just covered a huge, like, the whole parking lot. He just... Yeah. just it. It's Whoa! A great voice. What the fuck is that voice? That's Morph pretending to be somebody else. Oh, Morph, right. Oh, no. Why did you? Yeah. Never say that. Yeah. that. No, 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 that's like saying there's too many of them. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Eureka! That's how I learned that. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. Oh. Wow, yeah, Troy sure looks some like show like that. He was Wait, naked and he got in the bathtub and went slow. Yep. Oh. Except that didn't actually happen. Shut up, don't worry. Really. <laughs> just like fucking an apple never fell I'm on. I'm pretty sure right. this guy is just getting off to this. Oh yeah. I don't think oh yeah. There's no. <laughs> it's nothing to do with Sentinels. I invented these huge sentient robots just as a way of facilitating my creepy fetish for Chinese American girls. That's why he's looking for those two women and not Gambit. Uh, <laughs> Gambit is expendable. expendable. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. That's right. I have this audio file of a character who never said that saying that. It's, it's Gambit. Why did you bring that, bring that here, here? There's Bolivar Trask, the guy, the brains behind the operation here. Why is she tied down? Yeah. So she won't get away. Not so I can, like, have my way with her. <laughs> Not so I can masturbate on the screen while watching her. She's like, I can hear this. This <laughs> marriage is not working out. What is this cell phone? Argue. Flip phones. Pre-flip phones. Wow. They predicted flip phones. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Wow, the Doom guys are really not doing well. <laughs> They've got the G.I. Joe weapons. They shoot lasers. Yeah, they do. And don't hit their targets. And don't hit anything. Or if they do, it just knocks them over. I love just how overly southern Rogue is. Oh, my God. I'll oh, shut up about it. She won't. Don't worry, they're okay. They told him to take a car. Okay. Was this your car? <laughs> Well, there was really no reason to start a fire. Um, <laughs> are any of those important names? No. That's not how you destroy yeah. files. No, you I destroy, destroy the monitor. The monitor will not uh, well, destroy. Maybe it's doesn't a, make it impossible to destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got some Claris works on it. And, <laughs> yeah, they just and a hyper studio. All those files on one one computer. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she put some sort of weather virus. Oh, uh, went through the whole system and yeah. blew up all the hard drives. Yeah, that's yeah. probably what happened. She, yeah. she flooded it with, um... Here we go! Science. Whoa! Don't worry. The, did Cyclops plan for her to rescue that guard, or...? They're in total sync. Cyclops is a natural leader. Oh. They're just cleaning up after her all That's what they did. Thank you for that explanation, Gambit. Yes! <laughs> he said it! So the line they used in every commercial he's ever in from now yeah. on. Especially for the next upcoming episode. Life don't get much better than this. <laughs> oh! Why Someone just stepped over your grave. To run across open ground. I don't know. Oh, yes. <laughs> Is this a fifth? Yep. What? What? Oh, she was watching virtual porn. It's <laughs> Morph, I don't sense anything. <laughs> morph, Morph, I don't sense anything. Oh, you look like Magneto right now. Whoa. Ooh. Is that a coincidence? Foreshadowing. Yeah. Yep. Just murder your fucking joke-making character wow. for your children's cartoon. That's heavy. Yep. Right? No. Don't worry, he comes back. What? Yeah, he's not dead. But it's he's obnoxious. like green color. It's dumb. It's like really weird color. So like, why he wasn't sensed makes no idea. Well, yeah. he died. No, he, did, he did die, and then 
No, Mr. Back. Sinister brings him back to life. Right. Holy shit, I forgot. Oh, that. I thought he was just captured. By Mr. Sinister. Look, yes. His body was captured. This is the best. Oh, shit. Huh. You call him little. Six. <laughs> You like how totally soap opera this is? Yeah. Like, you and your leadership killed more? <laughs> well, they got Beast, too. Yeah. Hey, Jean Grey also doesn't have matching eyebrows. Yes. This is awesome. Wait, why did they leave? When did they They had leave? to escape. I, There's a we, flashback. This oh, one's coming. Okay. The Cyclops' car over here. Of course, Wolverine drives a Jeep. Yeah. Wolverine. <laughs> well, you left too. Not willingly. Uh, I'm not gonna wear a seatbelt. <laughs> He's a healing factor. There are no seatbelts in that Jeep. I like that. Uh, I, I'm more entertained by the fact that he's driving out there in his fucking Wolverine costume. Yeah. Your know, license registration? Oh, sure, officer. <laughs> uh, can you explain to me what the hell you're wearing? Nope. <laughs> sure. Here we go. Here's Snitch. your explanation, by the way. Uh. So he pushes Wolverine out of the way, and then. Bloom! Which was dumb, because Wolverine would have been fine. Yes! Ugh. Yeah, it sucks for Beast. Yeah. But he's, he's, he's breathing. So he you tell like he was <laughs> overly breathing. <laughs> okay, time to whoa! Whoa. Oh, I got totally schooled. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Yep. That was your enhanced. Whoa, he shook there, the whole man. world. Maybe you shouldn't have used all that juice on that <laughs> first blast, huh? Whee! I still gotta say my lines before I throw the cards. The deuces are wild. They don't work otherwise, okay? Small blind is fine. <laughs> Anti up. Oh. Power is predicated on calling it out, alright? Yes. It's like, uh. Look, if I don't say some kind of poker reference. It's like when the human torch says flame on. He doesn't have to say that in order to become engulfed in flames. Right. It just, it just sounds cool. cool. Here comes the flop. <laughs> <laughs> Wolverine isn't anywhere near you, Cyclops. Why did you say that? <laughs> I guess if it was useless if you start using some blackjack terms, like if you said, like, hit me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hit you, I... Ah, oh, crap. How many Sentinels are there? I don't understand. There are a lot of them. Well, because they're, the, they're at the facility, right? Well, yeah, this is where they make them. Here he is. He landed near the, the Blackbird. Eat Why not? I won't let you look your way. Come back here. I go. 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 Wait, why is he pissed off with Cyclops? That was because it was his move. Like Cyclops, like yeah, Rogue they're so in sync. You know, he didn't order Rogue no, to but do like, that. She knew that that was the order that was coming. For sure, I love this. Look at this fucking pathos. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, it's a commercial. Oh, seven <laughs> empty threats. <laughs> What's with the skull face? I don't know. Beast will be in jail for another season. Yep. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, he refuses to be broken out. It's frustrating as all fuck. I notice he's not tied down. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Somehow they can keep the beast under control by just putting him in a room. Yeah. Well, no, it's not hot if the beast is dead. Right. Look how progressive this show is where the female president, 1992. Yeah. 
Huh, red glasses! That guy's that guy's red glasses. Okay, but are they policemen or are they just robots built by this company? They're just robots built by this company. Check out this bad Jack Nicholson impression. Get ready for it. It's coming up. Not this one. It's one of the it's one of these. I called you fur face, but I have more facial hair than you. <laughs> Where you could handle the truth. He said it again! This is fucking gold. You know, he really did that gently. You could have just closed yeah, you your could eyes. Just step then he wouldn't have a hilarious or moment. Yeah. Where he's... Well, the funny thing is that they all freak out. They're like, oh, we're sorry! You blasted things! But this guy was going to threaten me with adamantium claws. Right. And he's I just... a mutant. Get out of here. Well, that's that's what okay. adamantium is. So, that's just like pulling a knife. Oh, that's going to scare me. Can Cyclops blast not burn through flesh? <laughs> they're they're concussive. Yeah, they're conc- they don't. Oh, okay. They don't ignite. Well. Here's they not that scene. Blow out about. the inside of his eyelids. Because <sighs> he can control his, his mutant power. His eyelids are kind coated of in a material. Yeah. Yeah. That contains it. Oh, okay. His yeah. genetic material. <laughs> <laughs> what was the bride doing here? <laughs> <laughs> that bitch! Ooh. Oh, I gotta pick these up now, damn it! <laughs> All my research. You son of a bitch. Raymond stands after retirement. <laughs> he just looks like the cartoon. He looks like real Ghostbusters Ray. Yep. Thank you, thank you. By the way, is this coffee in this class or yeah. what? Root beer. It's wine. They're poor. Yeah. It even kind of sounds like you're out of here. You have to get out of here. No. They said they should go if anyone came to ask about your money. They who? Who also, just, just uh, they. now that they're gone, she's gone, we kind of like don't deal with it at all. Like, they're right. like, yeah, well, that's Problem too bad. Problem kind of solved itself. Yeah. You, you exit mm. the front door? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he said it! Yes. Not. Nah, wow. Here's something that Sentinels never do. What? He's like, I've been damaged. I better go home for repairs. Oh. And they're like, oh, let's follow him. And you're like, not one other... You blasted 12 Sentinels! Four hours ago! Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's because they were already at their home base. No! They were at another base! Maybe it's because they were beyond repair, and yeah. they knew it. Well, Cyclops cut off one of their heads. So yeah. He wasn't going to go repair him, so. well, I mean, that really wouldn't stop it. Well, yeah. yeah. Maybe it was on no, the brain, brain was, was wearing in on the head or something. Hot, yeah, but, like, it's the like the brain was destroyed. It was severed. Yeah, so? It's like a computer. You cut off the monitor, the tower still works. Well, maybe they keep the CPU <laughs> in the head for some Like right in that like, next spot. Yeah, right there. Stop being Tony Stark and listen to me. I was going to say Howard Stark. What are you doing here? Yeah, pack all this all this up. It should only take a couple of minutes. <laughs> I brought you some boxes. I, I love this, this dumb sentinel. Oh, my arm hurt, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta repair me, girl. <laughs> oh, great. The random arm things what? aren't pointing at me anymore. Well, well wait, 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 she was talking about with straps before. Yeah, these people like obviously, uh, you know, Gyrick took the straps off earlier. You know. Oh, but only one was released by that malfunction. She that she used her up. powers. Yeah. Well, thank God it was her hand that got released and not her foot. Yeah, then she would have been screwed. That's the most powerful she'll ever be in the show. <laughs> Blasting open that door like it's nothing? Yeah. yeah. Also, what is her power? She shoots fireworks out of her hands. Yeah, but... But what... Like, like fireworks? fireworks? Well, it's or energy. Like magical fireworks. Magical fireworks. Yeah. Yeah, just collapse on the ground. She is, like, as ducked as she could be there. What? 
Look at how he just handily destroys these tentacles. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you do that before when when okay. Morph's life was on the line? Yeah. Just well, because he used all of his, his eye energy. That's right. When he, he did that giant sweep thing. Just, it's not. <laughs> but it. it Here really we go. Sh- it doesn't make any sense that he would have infinite energy. No. Well, it's like Gambit having infinite energy. But they or, don't... or Storm having infinite weather. Yeah. But she knows she has control of the weather. She doesn't make the weather. Yeah, she, yeah, she, she does. does. She uses the energy that's already in the atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. But she, yeah Rose. she makes lightning from her hands. No, that's she, not control. No, no, she, she calls the lightning to the her. atmosphere yeah. to rub together and generate electric charge. Look at this move! No, I know not. what you're talking about. No matter what you do, it would require tremendous amounts of energy to control the weather. So, yes, it doesn't make sense. None of it makes any sense. Yeah. They're mutants. That's all you need to know. How can your mutant power... Like, some of these mutant powers have, like, control over, like, computers and shit. How would you naturally and biologically have control over that? <laughs> See, that time she definitely called the white power. Yeah. Well, yeah. that time, yes. But, like, but there was the time in the mall where she didn't. No, yeah, she did. No, she just made it in her hands moved. and then shot it at the what guy. A dick. From a tiny cloud above her. Well, all she has to do is create a great differential in charge between yeah. herself and some other point. But to do that, you've got to, like, move molecules around. And Here we go. Here's things. my favorite she line just in the whole series. Hang on. But no, yeah. as far as I know, I always thought that she did not make weather. Right. But, like, you got to do something. <laughs> like, somehow force has to emanate from your body oh, and yeah. move something over there to make the weather do something. Yes. And on my one sensitive next spot... Did you notice Wolverine stabbed him like a thousand times? <laughs> that's the way, that's like their way of being like, I'm sorry that you can't stab anything. <laughs> you know. You'll kind of visit your foster parents, right? Like, well, since you are technically my legal guardians, I suppose I will need you for, you know, signatures and love. No. Jeez. Never gonna happen. Ugh, look at this fucking melodrama. Especially abandoning your friends and teammates. It's really easy for me to say that because I wasn't there. I wasn't there, so I don't know. Yeah. So I didn't actually do anything with the help. I never get to go out on missions. He does go on yeah. missions. No, Jean. Oh. Yeah, Jean. Oh, I know, but like, I just meant now. So what, like, what oh, is she doing? Like, going on the Morlock cave? Or the... What's who? Jean Grey in that mission. She was like, "Oh, more!" But like, was she oh, she was using Cerebro, Cerebro to like to monitor what? all of them, and and in how was just that helping? Relay information to Professor X to she's let him know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, she's keeping an eye on things. But he wasn't back. like calling in and telling them no. using that information. To he brought, look, I, I would really pressure because like, they can handle this, and she was like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna make I'm sure. just gonna check it. I'm gonna yeah. watch. I'm gonna, I like to watch." Yeah. <laughs> okay, X Men Pride. Pride of the X-Men. This is a pilot for a show that never happened. Colossus has shoulder pads, too. Yeah. Well, I mean, his costume was like that for a long time. (laughs) Alright, so that was... That was the first two episodes. That was the pilot. Yeah, that was Night of Sentinels Night of Sentinels 1 and 2. I, of course, had it on my Pizza Hut VHS that I got (laughs) uh, at the restaurant. Uh, did you get a little action figure with that? No, it didn't come with an action figure. Oh. It came with a card. Okay. Each tape came with a card. Who was on your card? I think it was the X Men. Oh. It was like all of them. Oh. It was like a little movie. It poster. wasn't like Cyclops. No. Storm. No, it was weird. <laughs> it was weird. It, it was, was like, like a card like like nobody would ever want. Yeah, it was like alternate box art oh. on a little like tops card. Weird. So yeah, there you go, X Men. Night of the Sentinels Part 1 and 2. Uh, unfortunately, because the version that we were watching has, like, all of them in a row... Right. Uh, we don't get to see that sweet-ass fucking uh, CG ending where, like, it shows 3D renderings of all the characters and, like, their stats as the credits roll. Are there, are there really stats, or does it just put up gibberish that it... That no, it's real stats. stats. Okay. Like height, weight, ability. height, weight, abilities, power okay. level, that kind yeah. of thing. Oh, yeah, that's cool. It was cool. Was Jean Grey's power level off the chart? Not yet. No, that's only with the Phoenix. One, but over right? time. Yeah. So like she's less but, powerful than Professor X. I don't that's understand how right? she could be so underpowered. She is a swimsuit model. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pull up the Phoenix. The power there. of sex appeal. Please don't pull up the Phoenix. Also, her outfit is hideous. Oh, Jean yeah. Grey's outfit? Yeah. Her, 90s, her 90s outfit was goddamn the, horrible. 
in the cartoon show, it really threw me off because sometimes the color was the same color as her skin. Yes. Ooh. So it was like, what? Yeah, it was really weird. The funny thing was they also yeah. kind of screwed up the color matching sometimes. So, like... They didn't know what was flesh and what was, like, costume. Yeah, there was actually a moment in the episode we just watched mm -hmm. when Rogue takes her glove off and puts it on Wolverine. She takes it back, her hand's green. Because <laughs> her sleeve was green. Oh. So they just made the whole thing green. Oh, jeez. Whoops. There you I go. I will say this, with the Phoenix Saga, that introduced me to the Hellfire Club. Yeah, I'm, which they called, uh, something else. Yeah. They couldn't call it the Hellfire Club. Because you're not allowed to say Children's hell. cartoon show. That's right, that's yeah. terrifying. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That Which is trauma inducing. Nice. Which, by the way, like, so my exposure to the X-Men is this. Mm -hmm. And right. then kind of the movies. And right. then fast forward to the future with, like, comics now as I started to, like, be exposed to them. Yeah. And Emma Frost is no longer a bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, she's in been... this... She is a bad person. Yeah, yeah. She's a, she's been a good guy longer than she was ever a bad guy now. <laughs> I know. Like, I was like... like she ran what? the X-Men for a good long time. Yeah, I heard that. I was like, what? Yeah. yeah. And a she's, villain? She's also a psychic, and she's way more interesting than Jean Grey. It's, it's why it's weird that she, in the movie... That she was, was a bad a, guy was again. a bad guy, because she hadn't been... No, a for so long. Like, they're like, let's go back. Let's go way back. Yeah. And not only way, that, but let's back. also cement it in a period in time... When we can never use our character again. Right. The 60s. Good job. Yeah, well done. <laughs> that said, I really liked January Jones's portrayal yeah. of Emma Frost. I really liked her, like, the way she played that. Yeah. Where she's just very like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, she was cool. Really liked that. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. That's the X-Men. Um, I keep thinking about, like, other people who could have joined the X-Men. Like, you know, even though they weren't mutants, like, they were still a super team. I feel like, you know, skeleton men would have been pretty cool. What? <laughs> you know, like like a guy from Eternia, let's say. It was like, it was a, really, like a, a really buff skeleton. Animated skeleton with no tendons or muscles. No, he had muscles and stuff, muscles. not in his face. Uh, but yeah, it was jaw moves somehow. Oh yeah, anything. no, that was magic. Yeah, okay. I, get, I mean, I don't know. If you were here, I'd ask him, but... Are you guys, are you guys talking about me? <laughs> oh, hey, Skeletor, you're back. Hey. Welcome Why? back, Skeletor. Why are you I was, asking to I was just up? wondering how your face worked. What? Because well, this, how does your face work, well, flesh bag? Well, I have I have muscles and tendons to <laughs> yeah. hold my jaw onto my skull. Yes, and it, they contract and it makes my mouth move up and down. Yeah, like if Ethan's face were melted off and he was just a skull, yeah. he would die. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to exist and my mouth wouldn't move. Oh, that sucks for you. Yeah, I'm just wondering what force keeps your jaw in place. Well, well, in Eternia, we're made differently than than yeah, clearly. here. Yeah. yeah. Also, how do you have vocal cords? Well, he has, he has a whole well, body. I have a body. Look, I mean, look at me. I'm I'm ripped. Oh, okay. You are pretty ripped. Is that blue flesh? Are you are you actually blue skinned? I I paint myself every morning. <laughs> oh, it's body paint. Oh, it's body paint. Would not have called that. You know, it's interesting. One of our commenters actually said something about how like you wouldn't asphyxiate if you painted your body. Mythbusters proved oh that you wouldn't. So yeah, they did. Really? Yeah. yeah. So Skeletor is right. Actually, That's interesting. Yeah. I always thought that was kind of bullshit. Like, why would you asphyxiate? Yeah, because your skin can't breathe. Because you breathe through your flesh. I, I am. I <laughs> well, you so. can't perspire, is what they're saying. Oh, yeah. So you don't literally asphyxiate. You it would, just poisons you. Yeah, yeah, you would. You would basically overheat. Oh, okay, but well, you don't. Is what you're saying? Oh no, no, I'm I'm totally cool. I'm starting to think Salvatore's face is but a mask. I mean, he's got the hood over it. Mm. Mm. What? This is. Well, it's a mask that articulates. Though. He does. His mouth does move. Well, he yeah. doesn't have a baked-in expression, is what you're saying. No, he doesn't. No. I mean, okay. And thank God for that. Yeah, yeah, those are very weak. I don't understand. Glenn would how hate that. As a skeleton, I don't. <sighs> yeah. How do you show any like emotions? You know? Because I have a heart. No, I, no. I mean, physically, I, feel... I mean, physically, how do you demonstrate your different emotions without without skin or lips or you know? Because I have these eye sockets. They move. So, like, they do. Does, they like do. Right weirdly here, I'm enough. very sad. How the hell did you even get a castle? That's, I guess, kind of. I don't. Are you royalty? Did you build it? Yes. <laughs> Which one? I, I'm Duke Skeletor. <laughs> You're a duke. Of course, I'm a duke. You Is don't that... just get a castle because you get a castle in Eternia. Yeah? What about Hordak? What? Oh, he's just a jerk. Yeah, Hordak's <laughs> more of a She-Ra villain, anyway. Yeah, but I, I've heard he's pretty capable. He's way more capable. Does he also have a castle? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> 
I am so much more capable than he is. Like, he couldn't even fight he I'm pretty sure He has to fight Shira. Right, but I'm pretty sure in the... In Hordak the, has a trident arm. He does. He's a cannon arm, thank mm-hmm. you. Like, his arm becomes a literal that sounds, cannon. That sounds way better than a You have like a rip-off sword. Yeah. Swords are cool. <laughs> you can, like, Swords are like sharp and dangerous. Yeah, yeah, but he has a ranged weapon. You would have to like get up close to do any damage. Yes, but that's how... That's how you really test your metal against someone. That's also how you die really quickly. It also I mean, just sounds like maybe you just want to get really close to He-Man. Uh, what? <laughs> that would be crazy. Why would well, I... I hate that man. He's he's so rippling with muscles and yes. stuff. Uh, why would I want to be close to that? That's very uh, accurate. Yeah, that's it's very it. specific. It's strange. Oh, and he specific. smells really pretty. Too. What? what? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, how do you how even do you smell? smell? Yeah, you don't have a nose. You don't have a nose. No, I do have sense. a nose. Actually. I know. <laughs> I just I get really self centered. You imagine that he smells nice. Well, like you look at him and he just he has to be all like rainbows and bunnies and shit. What? I don't. This doesn't even make sense. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, thanks a lot for stopping by, Skeletor. I appreciate it. I don't know why you keep thanking him. He just keeps I'm not going to thank him. <laughs> well, he came all the way here. No, I, I live outside your house. What? Yeah, Tony I told is you they like break- a trash bag. Outside. Yeah, there's no. But I don't possess my castle. <laughs> oh, that's right. How did that? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry about the restaurant business. Yeah, the Bank of Eternia. Yeah, no yeah. one wanted my flapjacks because they were flour and water. Yeah, yeah. that's. that's if like someone had told me before that there needed to be eggs, I could have bought eggs. Well, there's this thing called Google. Maybe they don't have it in Eternia, though. No, yeah. no, we only have Bing. Oh, oh that's, that's a problem. That. Yeah. That anyway, works. thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys next time with another thing. I don't know what it's gonna be. Yeah. I'm Sal. I'm, on the show. I'm Ethan. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Ben. <laughs> see you later, guys. That's all I got. I'm sorry. <laughs>